Hello everyone, this is Pop Potsy here, and today we are on episode 30. I'm actually quite surprised we made it this far. So, just so you know, right as I started the game to start recording, the zombie about mutilated me. So, I hit him into the water and sent him down there. So, I'm sorry, I, you guys didn't get to see the lovely zombie, but he almost killed me. So, I'm going to go to bed now because, you know, we've actually stayed up the last few nights working on this stuff because it's been working pretty well. But now that there's so many mobs out... Oh, I'm getting hit by an arrow. Oh my gosh. See, I've got two and a half hearts left. We've got to get back to the house right now. This is not good, guys. This is not good. I don't want to die right now. I'm too young to die. Okay, we're going to go up here. And once I've slept, we're going to fix this trap thing. Because I spend a little more time thinking about it. And it's actually the daytime right now. When I was working on that last video, episode 29. No! No, 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 no. Why? Why? Why, Creeper? Why? Why you gotta be so rude? Don't you know I'm human too? Don't you? Don't you? All right, Creeper. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't fidget spit. No! I couldn't slide, guys. I can't slide. I can't slide. Do it. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. <sighs> My hands are so cold. I can't even control this. Okay. All right. We got some gunpowder. That's cool. That's cool. Let's go to bed. I've had a long day, as you can see. We almost just died by a creeper. There was a zombie at the door, and I almost died when I started recording. So, it's been a very eventful morning for me, at least. So, I was also going to tell you guys, I think today I'm going to do a little experiment. And I'm going to change some of the render settings for my videos. And I actually record in 1080p, but I always I always downscale them to 720p. But I thought, you know what? I'm going to upload... Ooh, I should eat some meat. I'm going to upload today... This video uh, in 1080p, 60 frames per second capability. So, I don't know how many of you are even going to be able to watch it at that at that level, but I thought it'd be fun to kind of try it out and see if you guys, if anybody here likes that at all. I don't, I don't know if it'll be something exciting. I was going to bring these piggies in, just, you know, to the, to the farm, but then I just remembered that uh, the farm didn't work so well last time. Our, our, our poor little friend Piggy died. So, I'm going to have to hold off on that. We're going to have to um, take care of some other business first. Fixing the trap, making it somewhat usable without things having to die 30% of the time. You know, I, I think that the death rate should be a little bit lower than that. So we've got two pigs. See, we have three pigs. It's so sad. It really is. Oh, it shouldn't. this shouldn't have happened. This shouldn't have happened. It's all my fault. I let a pig die. I let a poor little pig die. This is supposed to be refuge from the world. And instead, I killed him. Oh, man. I'll never let that off my mind. Never off my conscience now. Look at me. Look at me. Look what I've done. Look what I've done. I'm going to cut these boulders off a little bit more because... Oh, my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, trap. Okay. You don't got to be this way. Right? You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. Okay. He's trying to kill me. He's trying to kill me. So, <clears throat> I'm going to... Oh, hello, cow. <laughs> Looks like he was uh, taking part in this thing. So, I'm going to... Dig this side up so I have a little bit better of an access point because, you know, right now, I'll seal these up once the, the the entire system's actually working correctly, but right now, it seems to be struggling, you know? If I have to push the cow into that portion of it, right there, then eventually, he will be sucked up into the real world, but he's still pushing, see? He's still fighting. That's why we have to have the water forcing them towards that whole portal business, and I, I just... I was having some issues last time we played. Yesterday, actually. <laughs> My brain wasn't thinking very well. Oh, get out of here, animals, really? Why? Okay, now everybody comes down here. Okay, okay. Now the water's no longer moving. Let's all cooperate. Freaks. All right. So, <laughs> um, I had a couple ideas of how to do this. And I'm just, just thinking about it right now. Wait. You know what the problem is, you guys? The problem is, it's three blocks wide. I know that's how it was supposed to be and everything, but I just it just occurred to me just now. See, this is why I shouldn't play at midnight, because that's, that's, that's something I completely blew off, because it was too late, I couldn't think. Okay, now that I'm thinking, I think I have a real solution, you guys. I think that we're gonna end this madness right now. You're gonna be so happy that we're not doing this anymore. Like, I know we've been doing this for days and days and days and it never ends. So now we're gonna finish this up. Not that it's, you know, we need something to get it over with. I mean, it's a super cool concept and everything. I think we've had fun with it so far. So here, here's the deal. The third block in the middle always had problems, but now that we can use signs because we only have to worry about two blocks wide, I think we can do this. I think we can do it. So 
Sorry, my hands are so cold. I don't know. I'm always old. I'm always cold in this house. All right. <clears throat> so. Oh, no, 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 we don't want you there. And there's some weird thing with block launcher. I think we talked about it yesterday, but every time I use a sign, I have to go back out and back in because, because it's just mean like that. All right, so with this, here's the deal. We need to take this block up a bit. And basically, these things here need to be blocked off. So for now, we're just going to raise the level here up to at this point. We're gonna dig this down one block, <clears throat> like so. And now, what we can do is we can actually lead the water down into this area. But you know, it, it's still unclear if the animals are gonna like this or not, because I think the water might connect. See, it's not connecting properly, because this water's pushing against it. So it's like, it needs to be one lower or something, you know? It, that's the problem we were having last time. Oh, and I also forgot to put the sign there. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe that was the problem, huh? Okay, back out, back in. Okay, now that we've solved that, let's go ahead and see what happens if we place water here. Okay, so what it does is it carries them down, and they have this little block, and if they barely move, it should carry them up. It should, it should, it should, it should. I don't know if it will. That's kind of what we have to experiment with to see. And I don't think any animal is not going to fit because I, I don't think it's too big. I mean, too small. Uh, two blocks wide should be big enough for every single one of these animals. So what we'll do, we'll run an experiment. We're going to we're gonna go ahead and experiment right now. So we've got a cow and a sheep. And they're both going to run through this and see if they filter or if they survive the filter. Okay, there we go. So now they're going down. We have a cow and a sheep. I hate this. I hate this sneaking. Okay. Sheep and cow. Sheep and cow. Slowly but surely, they're, they're gonna get. See, but now that, that sheep is trying to get out, it didn't succeed. But now it's at the bottom; it's not moving. <gasps> it keeps getting air, though. See, they're gonna fight. No, 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 no! Come on, mate! No! <gasps> no, no, no! Get out, cow! Get out! This is not a safe place. This is not a safe place. No, 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 no! Get out, sheep! Get out! 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 We're all gonna die. You're all gonna die. You don't listen to me. Okay? I can't even place the blocks here to stop this. Okay, we're blocking it off now. Okay. Alright. It's time to reconsider what I just did. Because, uh, well, they didn't exactly float the way they were kind of intended to float. And that's, uh, that's a problem. That That is a problem indeed. So, we don't want to do that. I just had a new idea. We're gonna do this differently. You know what? This is what the original concept was. Now that I'm thinking about it, <clears throat> I think I have a solution. A real solution. <laughs> Excuse me. So, in case you don't believe me, I'm going to prove it right now. In just a second here. <coughs> What's wrong with me? I'm like dying here. All right. So, on this part, as opposed to having the water do what it's doing right now, which is to push the animals, we're going to do it in reverse order. So... When the animal was to fall into this little, uh, you know, thing here, it's this 2x2, two two, which now it can be a 3x2 if we want it to be, like this. When they fall into this, what we want to do is just have that be water. It's just going to be water. It's going to go straight down a couple of blocks, just like this. We'll take it down probably three. I think three should be enough to be um, uh, functional. And we'll take it down this one too because right here, we're going to want to lift this up a bit. And down here is where we will chip it out and bring them into the other world and, and elevate them. So what happens <clears throat> is right here. Sorry, guys. I played basketball last night till like, oh, it was late. It was really late. And I, I think because of that, my, my, my whole voice is just weird. So I keep like having to cough. I don't know. I'm sorry. Hopefully this doesn't happen again. I play on Thursdays usually. But anyway, um, <clears throat> so... We're going to go ahead and, and see if this works. So the animals will fall into the water. They'll be carried down this way. And then they'll be carried out to about here. The thing is, the only concern I had is that they might build up. You know, they may not actually leave the pit. That's, you know, we don't want them in here forever. So that was the only main concern I had about this but we will see if that's actually the case because they may actually leave we don't we don't know we've never we've never done it long enough to actually see you know and experimenting with them is the best thing and this one fortunately should be death free I don't, I don't think there's even a way for the animals to die 
doing this, but you know, I guess that's why we have experiments, just to make, just to make sure. Just to make sure these poor little animals don't die. And I'm trying to think of a way also to keep them out. I just did. I just thought of a way to keep the animals from coming in. Okay, so as soon as they leave this thing, they cannot come back in, which is exactly what we want. So what we do, we're gonna fill up another bucket here with water. Didn't I have two? Oh, they're both full. Great, great. So we use the water and it's gonna get dark again. Oh my goodness, I hate the dark. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. All right, we're going out. We're gonna leave, we're gonna leave Mr. Cow. Now this is the problem. Oh wait, I have fan skates. Sorry guys, <laughs> I'm not thinking. All right, we're gonna go this way. And luckily now that I have sprinting, I can just run back home and get, oh no, we got skellies and stuff. No, 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 this way. They can't hit me, can't hit me. I'm too fast, yes! We're gonna make it home in one piece without being hurt in the least. So today, basically the goal is the same as yesterday, but but this time we're actually gonna do it, okay? This, this trap thing is gonna be finished. Because now that I've thought of the ideas I have, I think we should be able to do it just fine, you know? I don't think there's gonna be, oh man, those, those mobs are still spawning to the right of our staircase. We gotta solve that. I placed a bunch of torches underneath, but apparently that wasn't good enough because they continue to spawn in my zone. No, 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 no. Don't be this way. Don't be this way. Whoa, hey there, mate. Uh, hi. How are you doing? You doing good? Good, me too. I go away. I don't have visitors at this hour. I'm sorry. No, you. you okay, okay. I'm gonna calm down. I'm gonna remain calm. I'm remaining calm. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna put the blocks here and just block this off with duh. I know that's Ill, Ill, like uber ghetto and everything, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to sleep. We're going to sleep. I just almost died by some terrorists, so I think I deserve a little break. Okay. All right. We'll fix that tomorrow because, uh, you know, I, I, I'm gonna have to get some more wood to fix that. And at the moment, we've actually got something much more awesome at hand here. Which is this trap. And then I'll bring the pigs here. The pigs will be the first experiments to go and be run through after we have the internal candidates and volunteers, of course. <laughs> they're, they're all volunteers to this thing. I mean, that's why they came the way they did, you know? I said, hey, do you want to come in? And they, they came right in. It, was, it wasn't my problem. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Don't put this on me, cow. All right. So now what we do... As we place, okay, we're gonna need a bit more water than this. What I'll do is I'll create an, uh, an infinite source. Whoa, zombie! No, 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 you're not supposed to be in here, mate. How did a zombie? Okay, we're gonna have to put more light in there because, well, maybe he fell in the hole. You know what, that's that, that, that's actually quite possible. All right, so I'm gonna create an infinite source just right here, just, to, just so we don't have to deal with um, getting to the pond every time. Put the water there, and then put the water there. We can fill up the inside one in infinite time. So, little spider. And now we can just we can just place the water in the middle here and fill it up. And this is going to be awesome. This is exactly how these these creatures are going to leave because now that we've done it the opposite direction. Everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to work just like it was supposed to work the other time, but couldn't. So. This is gonna be exciting. So the animal will fall into the water, they'll come down to here, and it's actually pushing them outward. So when you hit the bottom block, let me go to the back corner and see what happens. If I hit this bottom block here, it doesn't actually force me out yet. So that's, but then eventually you go through here. Now the, oh wait! I just thought of something, guys. The animals themselves, they float. So if they fall into the water, they're simply going to float back out. Oh my goodness. Why wouldn't I think of something like this? Huh? Hey, don't you dare. Okay, good. Good spider. Get out of my experiments, please. So the, these animals will simply float if we do this. So that was a bad idea. Bad, bad idea, Spencer. But I have a better idea. <laughs> I know you guys are probably lost all faith in me. I have no good ideas, do I? They're all failures, I know. The thing is, I don't think animals are willing to drop down too far. So, actually, I just, wow, I just ruined it. Okay, we're supposed to have water here, guys. Oh my gosh, my brain, it's like daytime, and I thought, oh, you know, I'll be able to think just fine. Nope, 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 I can't think today. I can't think, but we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. It's gonna be good. This is gonna be just like we'd always imagined, you know? Always, oh, we need one more. 
one more bucket of water. And then what happens is we're gonna need some signs. Yes, we're gonna need a few signs. Just just a few. We're gonna need We have three signs right now. We're probably gonna need more than that. So that's that's very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. So we'll head over here and craft up some more. Do we have any resources left now? Yes? No? No, we don't. Okay. Well, I'll show you guys the concept anyway. Whoa, milk. I can get milk. I forgot. That's cool. I just milked the cow. I just, I don't want milk. No, I don't actually, I don't actually want the milk. How do I get rid of milk? Oh my gosh. All right, it's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna put the signs up now. So, what happens is we go down here and we place signs on the second thingy, which is right here. So we place a sign and then we place another sign right there. Okay, and then we place another sign right there. Okay, and that is how we're gonna get this to function. So now, what? Whoa, I can't move now because uh, the thing glitched again. Oh, signs, man. Someone's gonna fix that. That's craziness. That's craziness. All right, so now when we go out, we probably should be using a sword so close to his others. That would not feel good. That would feel utterly horrible. Bah ha ha. Okay, <laughs> okay. So when you go down here, now it slides you out through this. Now we gotta experiment and see if that actually works on animals because they, they might just simply flow. I really don't have an idea of what's gonna happen. We'll go on the outside though and get another sheep because that's just better than using our internal sheep anyway, right? All right, sheepies, come here. Please don't come, creeper. The wheat's not for you. The wheat's for the gray sheep. For the gray lovely sheep who's willing to be an experiment today on our lovely design. All right, sheeps, you ready for this? Come here. Atta boy. All right. So the sheep is going to die. Yes? <laughs> no, he's, he's gonna, don't do this sheep, go, get out. Okay, I had to push him. He was gonna die, he was going to die. All right, well, he didn't die. I mean, that's that's good, that's very good, but that's not, uh, you know, those weren't the results I was looking for. He basically went down to water and then stopped halfway. So this, this kind of leads me to believe if we had three more signs, this might actually work. So. Let's go get some wood real quick. I have, oh, I need two more blocks of wood before I can actually craft any more signs, and then we'd be fine. We'll be able to do this just how we need to. So I'll just grab, I don't even need to grab that many trees, tree logs things, so I'll just grab this tree. Oh, we can't hold them. Oh man, I, I, I keep throwing my inventory away. All right, we'll just get rid of this cobble block. We don't need that. And, okay, let's go, let's go and craft up Okay, here's our next guy. That's the next one we're gonna experiment with. We need to experiment with all shapes and sizes, all assortments of animals, including chickens. But that will be for a later time, of course, because right now we're focused on sheeps. All right, so now I can craft more of these. Craft more signs, there we go. We got more signs, I'm gonna throw this milk. I don't, I don't need milk right now. I don't even, I don't know if I'll ever need milk. All right, so now what we can do, we can place signs on the second block again, on the other side though. Okay, and we'll go forward, right under here, boom, second side placed, we got one more sign to place underneath, right there, alright, so we're going to exit back out again so we can get this thing loaded, alright, so now we've got the water stopped, and so they will actually fall through, I'm, oh, hello animals, oops, no, no weed, so no weed, okay, get out, alright, so they will fall through this, and they'll fall to the ground, and that way, they will not drown. I, I, I'm, I'm confident that they will not drown, okay? And then what we do is we get out of the way, you... These sheeps are crazy. These sheeps are insane. I'm trying to make their quality of life better and bring their friends unto them, but they, they, just, they just don't cooperate. They don't cooperate. All right, so now the water carries them to that point. And I'm fairly sure it works. Let's go, let's go experiment. Let's go experiment on a new species of sheepsies. All right, they're, they're over they're over here. I think I saw one, right? Wasn't there one over here under, under this small pond? Yeah, you've got your own reserve. Oh, we got a chicken friend too. Yay, yay, yay. Chickens go to seeds though, I believe. So he probably won't follow us, but we'll bring a chicken along. Chicken, we need the sheep, not you. Get out, get out, chicken. Oh my gosh, chicken. He's trolling, do you see him? He keeps going back to this block. He's a trolling chicken. He doesn't stop. <laughs> okay, sheep, come here. Let's go. Tell you night time again. Oh my gosh. Days are going by so fast. All the time is gone. Oh, 
I've already been recording for like 20 minutes. Man, this time, time goes by so fast. All right, all right, experiment. We're gonna walk right here. Come on in. Yes, just a little bit further. Just a little bit further. How are you walking on the water? All right, all right. Okay, he, he's, he's floating. He's, uh, oh, they can get out. Wait a second, I, um, you guys, I didn't think about that. <laughs> okay, well, I just had an idea. Uh, how those, these things, these things. What if it's surrounded in those things? They can't go over this, can they? I don't think so. So now let's get the sheep again. Yes, sheepy, you come over here. Over a half slab and into the water. There you go, boy. There you go. Okay, now he fell through that time because of gravity. Because he was... Okay, so that processed correctly, just like it's supposed to. I think if they have enough momentum, they fall down. I think they will. But chickens are a little bit... Oh, this is kind of a strange spot. I, I don't know if chickens are heavy enough for that, though. But I have seeds, so we'll go find out right now. I'm going to get that chicken. I'm going to bring him here. All right, hey, chicken. I don't know if he's a troll chicken, but that's okay. We just need a chicken. And you come over here, and you're gonna fall into the water, and you're gonna process just the way I hope. Okay, okay, chicken. Good chicken. He's he's flying. He's he's trying to flap his wings. You gotta stop eventually, right? Your muscles can't last forever. Do they always do that in water? Chicken, don't do this. Don't do this, chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Don't be this way. I'll push you. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, luckily chickens aren't our main concern, so it should be okay. At, at worst, I'll just fly. Oh, oh, he pooped an egg. Maybe that's what he was doing. Um, at worst, I'll just come over this part and fall into this water, which will carry them up to here, and they can proceed to walk out. But of course, we want to we, we want to have an elevator system, and I have an idea for that too, with the water because they should be able to swim up, right? I mean, they'll they'll float potentially. So, but that's okay. For now, this is this is good enough. It actually gets them through. They don't die, and that, that's exactly what we need. We need not dying animals to get through this main part of the system so they can be in the reserve, you know? Now I can go herd big groups of animals out there who exist, who have, you know, like five, six, seven in their little group. And we can just bring the whole bunch of them in here and they'll just, they'll just fall right in. We don't have to worry about gates. We don't have to worry about them trying to escape. There is no way to escape this. There, but why would you want to? I mean, look at this. This is, this is vacation all life long, you know? This is great. So... We should be good. I think we made some serious progress on this today. And after this, we'll probably start focusing more on the crop aspect of it because we're gonna need crops to multiply the animals anyway. So I think that's the next step as far as our farming is concerned. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys tomorrow.